Plenty of barbecues will be happening this holiday weekend, but before you break out the grill, there is a lurking mm -hmm. danger that we should all really know about. We really should. Uh, doctors are warning that the way you clean your grill could be putting you and your family in serious danger. Channel 3's Aaron Connolly joins us live in Rocky Hill with all the details to keep you safe this holiday weekend. Aaron? Well, Denise and Dennis, lots of people will be firing up their grills this weekend, but what many of us don't know is that the wires from grill brushes like this could become lodged in your food. And doctors say it's not only dangerous, it could be deadly. It was just really a pain that I've never felt before. After eating a burger from the grill, Cheryl Harrison of Wallingford quickly knew something was wrong. Within 48 hours, she had severe pains and was rushed to the hospital. I felt my stomach was bloated, extremely tender to the touch. You could not touch, um, you could not even push on anything, just hurt your stomach. Little did she know she had ingested this small, thin wire that was lodged in her intestine. Her husband had cleaned the grill with a wired bristled brush before cooking. One of those bristles had fallen off and was inside her burger. I've never heard of anything ever happening like this to anybody. I was totally shocked when it happened to me. Two weeks ago, Harrison had emergency surgery at Mid-State Medical Center. This is a still image of the procedure performed by Dr. Aziz ben Brahim. The doctor tells us not only is this type of situation extremely dangerous, it's not as rare as you think. At that time, it makes a hole in the intestine, and that's really very life-threatening. We have a patient who had it for about two weeks, and he had severe complications and bigger surgery. And last year, we brought you the story of this young girl, Anna Dunn, who ingested a one-inch piece of wire after eating a hot dog at a summer picnic. She had surgery to remove it after it got lodged in her throat. With a number of cases here in Connecticut, Harrison wants to make sure no one has to go through what she did. I just think that everybody should be aware, and it's a very dangerous thing. It does happen to people. And if the idea of using a wire brush like these don't sit well with you, there are some alternatives. You can buy a brush that does not have a wire. If you don't want to use a brush at all, you can also use a ball of aluminum foil, a nylon-based sponge, or you can just burn the food off. No accessories needed. So happy and safe grilling this weekend. Live with the Mobile Newsroom in Rocky Hill, Aaron Connolly, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.